It is regarded as the world's smallest town. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you guys to the smallest town in the world. I know it doesn't sound too exciting, but wait, this was actually one of the funniest trips I've been on. And as well as that, I went to the highest bungee jump in the whole of Croatia. One, two, three, bungee. Guys, welcome to Split. It's currently 10 a.m. I'm about to leave to go to the world's smallest town called Hum. This is what the journey is currently looking like. Six hours and 27 minutes. 254 miles. Luckily, we have this absolute whip. Let the road trip commence. I'm gonna hand the camera over to Kat. She's gonna take some shots and we are gonna get on our way. We're currently about three hours away from Rijeka where we're going first. I may have accidentally forgot that I had toll roads turned off on ways. I just took country roads for so long when we could have been taking the motorway and saved a bunch of time. We've just stopped for a quick drink. Kat's going for a piss. I'm trying with local Croatian delicacy. I thought you meant to be on a sugar van. Two hours, 59. Ah, there we go. Finally, I'm on the toll road. We've made it to the motorway. Now we can actually do some driving. Even when the days feel low, Faye's gonna have that glow. Already moving, where they ain't think I go. Never show your hand no fool. We have now made it finally, and uh, we're about an hour away from Hum. We're gonna find somewhere to have food here. The only issue is, it's currently raining, as you can probably see. It seems like a nice, cute town we're in right now, Rijeka. This is definitely, okay, I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was literally thunder. Fingers crossed when we actually get to Hum, the weather's a bit better because I actually want to walk around and see the place without getting soaked. Finally, we've found a place to have some food. I think it's like a fish restaurant. Whoa, oh that is insane. Yeah. Hello, mate. He was such a cute little shrimp. His Poor guy. His name was Steve. Yeah, Steve the shrimp. I hope he tastes good, lad. Otherwise, your death was worthless. I think we ate half the Adriatic Ocean to an Adriatic Sea, my bad. What's the difference? For the same thing, no? Holy moly. Oh my days. What is this weather about? We're in Croatia. Like near the equator, nearer than the UK. And this is what it's treating us with. We've just reached a train level crossing, but there is no warning to let us know whether a train is coming. Check on your left, mate. Any train? No train. No train. Oh my God. Oh my God. That actually made me myself. No, that is not okay. That is not okay, bro. So they have a really nice and friendly dog here. So cute. Hello, mate. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Holy f I didn't think I was scared of dogs, but that dog was petrifying. How many minutes until we're How many minutes? How many minutes? Oh, that was the worst joke oh. I think I've ever made. Town's a populated area with a fixed boundary okay. and a local government. A local government? Oh, so the Hum government. Okay, so we can literally go and find the government of Hum. We should probably go find it. Yeah. Mm. That is the official sign for Hum. We have made it after about six and a half hours of driving and a very long food stop in between. You can see everyone has put their stickers on here. There's plenty of different kind of stickers, but I'm gonna get back in the car and we're gonna head into Hum. They're trying to charge us to park our car. There is the Church of Hum, as you can see. According to the legend, giants built Hum from rocks left after building other towns in the valley of River Mirna. So as Matt was saying, a town is basically a populated area with fixed boundaries and a local government. I believe the government part makes it different to a village. Hum has a souvenir shop, two places to stay, and also two churches. We then decided to check into our Airbnb and just out of chance, ask our Airbnb host if he happened to be the mayor of Hum. Do you know who the mayor is? Oh, the mayor of Hum. Yes. You know him? Are you the mayor of Hum? Yeah. You're the mayor of Hum? X. Oh, really? Yes. No way! Crazy. And just when we thought it couldn't get any better after finding out our Airbnb host was the ex-mayor of Hum, he invited us into his little alcohol room where he proceeded to give us a lot of alcohol. It smells like wine. Holy wine. Wow. Look at all this. This is gonna, this is gonna put Ben to sleep. Shots from the ex-mayor of Hum. This is crazy. I feel like, a, I feel like a, a kid in the candy shop. Honestly, that looks like sour, mate. Really? Yeah. Oof. Oh. 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 Oh.
and one shot of rakia. <laughs> Times ten. Mistletoe. Mistletoe. Yes. Ah. Anyone? Anyone? No. Oh, okay. Old cows. Istrian Viagra. How? Why is it Istrian Viagra? Why? Yeah. Why? Because it's Viagra. Maybe it's Af yeah. Afro. Oh, it's Viagra. Oh, it's Viagra. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Too sweet. My favourite was the really manly. Yes, yeah, it's really good. And it's the only dog in home. Is it only Jamie Hum? Hum sweet hum. This should probably be the last glass. I am pretty waved right now. <laughs> I'm quite drunk, I can't lie. We're heading to the souvenir shop to buy some wine because apparently Hum is the best place for wine ever. Hum sweet hum, hum baby! Sweet hum. <laughs> so this is the souvenir shop. Como souvenir shop. Travels honey, natural cosmetics. Here we are at the only restaurant in Hum. I'm very happy to be in Hum. It's, it's not Hum, it's Hum. Wait, hum. is Hum or Hum? Good morning, everyone. I'm surprisingly not hungover, even though we drank so much yesterday. I didn't film after dinner, but we came back to the place and finished two bottles of wine as well. That is what happens when you drink good quality alcohol. No hangovers. Matt is having some filtered coffee. I want to show you guys what I actually bought from the shop. First up, we have a bottle of gin. We've also got a bottle of white wine, which we finished two of last night. Got my mum a natural homemade lip gloss or lip care, something like that. I don't know. She should like it. If not, she's ungrateful. Couldn't leave, hmm, without getting a fridge magnet. Got some vapor barbecue sauce, which I can tell you now is probably the spiciest sauce I've ever had in my life. Don't know why I bought it. Also, this is the place we are renting out for the night. We have a kitchen and of course a lounge. And then you come upstairs. Bedroom number one, bedroom number two where I slept and the bathroom it is very nice. Not bad for 70 euros a night in peak season. Come to Hum guys, it's a great experience. The plan now is we're gonna explore the rest of Hum Hum, however you say it. After that, we're gonna drive four hours back down the coast to do Croatia's biggest bungee jump. I really wanna do it, Kat really wants to do it, but Matt is not keen at all, but I'm gonna force him to jump off that bridge. Is that I'm currently on the high street of Hum. This is where everything goes down so you catch your bus to work. I believe there's two shops, one right here, the home of Istrian Brandy. It does not look so open though, I don't think, but it looks like a nice shop. And there is another souvenir shop. Oh my days, they're really capitalizing on this. Our theory is the man got us drunk last night, so then we went to the souvenir shop to spend loads of money. So I don't know where we are. We're inside the castle, I believe. There's some ancient writing on here, but I don't know when they've actually written this. Imagine this is all just a scam. They've literally just built this castle. I don't know, it seems quite legit. Is this stone real? even have some ancient bikes, which kids used to ride. Oh, hello kitty. This building seems to be completely abandoned. It's so derelict inside. That's crazy, the building has completely collapsed. I completely forgot to say, but we are actually stuck in Hum right now. The road is getting fixed, and there's only one road in and out of Hum. Apparently it should be done fairly soon. There is a roller going up and down the road. And as you can see just there is the vineyard, the vi vineyard, vineyard? I don't know how to say it. This is another car park for Hum. Oh my days, it's a busy place. So the man who's our Airbnb host, also ex-mayor of Hum, said that his family makes up 50% of the whole town. Wife, daughter, brother, like nephews, everything all live here. Which is quite cool and he said the whole town is a family as well. There's actually seven different blood families but they're all great friends, he said. No beef goes down in hub, no crimes. It's a peaceful little town with a lot of f***ing tourists. This is why I need to make a channel sticker. What the hell? So we we exhume skulls, skulls, bones and souls. What <laughs> the f***? I told you hum was a That's cult. Crazy. I just tried to take a shot of us driving away and the dog was in the way having a sh we're now on our way to a place called Nin before the bungee jump, which is apparently what the oldest medieval town in Croatia and also been voted the most romantic place in the world in 2010.
currently at a restaurant and Matt is about to send a lot of shots because he's pretty scared. People are not meant to jump off bridges. No, we're that not. That is how humanity evolved. <laughs> Our ancestors didn't jump off bridges. Well, we do and we're fine. And this is the, this is why this is why our subconscious says, hey, you probably shouldn't jump off that bridge. Me and Matt have agreed there is no turning back right now. So you can't change your mind. I'm scared. It's too bad excited. Okay, good. I'm gonna push you guys. Now for a nah, bit of food and some drinks, and then to the bridge. Number two, get Number it down two. here. Go on. As always, I've got myself some fish. We've got sea bass today, looks lovely. Final one before you jump off the bridge. <laughs> down the hatch, there we go. It's what you've been working on your dream for. You're working on your dream. Oh my fucking God. God, I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> don't look at Can't have a look, can't have a look. Dude, this is... <laughs> Holy Shit. Holy moly. One, two, three, spongy. What the f? <laughs> what the f? How do you feel? <laughs> Matt, do you want us to take this bit off so we can see the QR code? <laughs> if I die today, guys, download the new trend travel app and change your life. <laughs> Remember me. I will start counting one, two, three, bungee on bungee, jump far away as you can with your head first, hands above your head. That's the best way to jump, best feeling, best on the middle. Just jump forward like a bird, far away as you can. One, two, three, bungee! <laughs> oh! Terrible to be honest, like, actually awful. <laughs> I've got no choice now, like it's literally getting strapped to my feet. I think I trust these guys here. Matt has actually made me look like a fool. He bigged it up so much and he just went first time. Holy f <laughs> Holy f <laughs> One, two, three, f One, two, three, bungee. Mr. Morrison style, doing the big jump. I survived, man. How you feeling, mate? It was amazing. Yeah. One of the best things ever to do. I love adrenaline. That was absolutely ridiculous. I can't even explain how much I love doing stuff like that. Especially when you're so scared and you overcome that fear. It just feels amazing. I think this is probably going to be the end of the video. I highly recommend you guys all go check out Hum if you're ever in Croatia. It was a great little town. Come to the bungee jumping here. Was it Melon, Melengia, something like that bridge? Make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe. Here is my diploma for jumping off a bridge. The only diploma I've ever got in my life. I'll take it. I'll take it. See you guys next time.